Bissau's president, Omaru Mbalo, has dismissed Prime Minister Gerardo Martens just a week after his reappointment, according to a presidential decree issued on Wednesday. As the country navigates a political crisis, President Mbalo dissolved um, Guinea-Bissau's parliament days after what he said was a foiled coup on the 1st of December, accusing the government of passivity in response to the clashes. He then reappointed Mr. Martins as Prime Minister on December 12. The decree didn't provide a reason for sacking Mr. Martins, who's a member of the former ruling uh, PIGC party, which now leads the main opposition coalition. Sources close to the matter said the Prime Minister and the President were at odds. The West African nation has often been in political turmoil and seen several coups since it gained independence from Portugal in 1974. Police fired tear gas last week to disperse opposition members of parliament who had tried to convene in defiance of President Mbala's decision to dissolve the House. A date for new legislative elections has not yet been set. In southern Africa, Zambia, which is already facing its worst anthrax epidemic is more, uh, in more than a decade, has recorded new deaths caused by cholera. Health authorities in the southern African country reported that four people died of cholera in the capital, Lusaka, in 24 hours, bringing the number of victims of this infection to 64 for the entire country since the start of the year. According to the National Institute of Public Health of Zambia, 46 of these deaths were recorded in the capital, as well as 1,600 infections over the same period. Health Minister Silva Masebo said government was distributing chlorine to purify water in areas affected by the epidemic and called on the population to respect strict hygiene measures. According to the World Health Organization, acute diarrhea infection caused by the absorption of water or food contaminated by bacteria, uh, cholera, is on the rise on the continent. Besides Zambia, Kenya, Malawi, Uganda and Zimbabwe have also recorded cases of anthrax this year with a total of 20 deaths and some 1,000 suspected cases.